Hi everyone, welcome back. For those who are new here, my name is Adriana and I'm happy you decided to follow along. Today I'm going to show you how I took a wooden box from a gift basket I received and I upcycled it into a small pet bed. I made it for the newest member of our family, my cat Stallone. I started by removing the leather handles on each side with the screwdriver, but don't throw them away, save them for another project. I'm going to put on a set of gloves because I am going to use my finger to press the wood filler into the holes. If you don't have wood filler, you can always use spackle. You will get the same results because you are going to sand after it dries and before you paint. So here I'm again just pressing it in. I'm going to do this on both sides of the box. I do have this little spatula I purchased at the dollar store and just again just smooth it out. While I wait for the wood filler to dry, I'm gonna move on to painting the inside the box. I'm using Fusion Paint in the color Cashmere. Fusion Paint has a built-in sealer, so at the end, you're not gonna to have to go over it with any type of sealer. So here I'm gonna give it two coats of paint. You can use chalk paint. I also, like I said, when I do projects, uh, most of the time I use chalk paint. I did make a purchase of the fusion paint and I also have some DIY paint so I'm trying to use it up. But again, you can go to Walmart and use the Waverly chalk paint. Now that the inside has two full coats of paint and it's dried, I'm going to move on to the bottom of the box. That also is going to get two full coats of paint. If you see me jumping around, it's because the wood filler is still drying and I will save that for last to start sanding. Now I want our pet bed to have feet. I usually use spindles that I cut up to make feet for projects. But I had purchased these wooden Christmas ornaments. They were after Christmas. I'm not sure if I got them at Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. But they are wooden and I thought they would make great feet for some type of project, whether it just be a riser. So here I'm just going to take my needle nose plier because they do have eye hooks on them. And I'm just going to screw them off. Now the eye hooks, you could save them for... I always save little pieces like that because you can always use them for another project. So after you removed all four, I am going to give it two coats of paint and set them aside to dry. As I'm painting, I'm going to ask a random question because pretty much everybody who's following, I most likely personally know you. Hi guys, I wanted to ask if my audio sounds a little bit better. If you could please leave me a comment. Um, my husband did go out and buy me these wireless mics. I mean, I'm not no pro. I've been just videotaping from an iPhone, so the audio was kind of up and down. Uh, hopefully this helped a little bit. Now that I set the feet aside to dry, I checked the wood filler and it is dry now, so I'm gonna move on to sanding. Here I'm gonna take the little hand sander. I had purchased this at Home Depot. If you saw my other videos, this is one of my favorite little hand sanders. I'm taking a 220 grit sand pad, which uh, you, it's like a Velcro, so you just attach it on. And I'm gonna go around the box and sand where I put the wood filler. I'm also gonna sand the corners. Um, I just wanted to round them off a little bit just to get that harsh edge off of it. I'm not sure if I showed you the front of the box, but it has a beautiful design. It's engraved into the wood. So once I paint it and I distress it, it'll bring back some of the design again. Now that I sanded all the areas where I placed the wood filler, I'm going to take a wipe and remove all the dust before I start painting. So now I just really need to paint the outside of the box, the sides, and I'm going to give it two full coats of paint. Now that the box is fully painted and dried, I'm going to move on to the next step. Now I'm going to add the feet to the bottom of the box. 
I'm using Type Bond wood glue. You can use a Gorilla Glue, a Crazy Glue. I am going to secure it though with my nail gun from the other side. Just be careful here. I don't know what I was thinking when I placed the feet onto the corner of the box. I put them all the way to the corner, which was a mistake. I had to re-glue them and move them in a little because I wasn't able to nail it from the other side. Here is where you can see that I had moved the feet because before I had glued them too close to the corner. Now the way they're positioned, it's easier for me to use the nail gun. I placed one nail into each foot. Now, if you don't have a nail gun, uh, the way I move the feet, you can actually use a hammer and just hammer in a nail. Now I'm just checking to make sure the nail went into the foot and nothing's sticking out and it's secured. I'm going to start sanding the box. So I'm going to take my little hand sander and I'm going to use again a 220 grit sandpaper. And I'm just going to go around on the corner of the box, the edges, and I am going to hit the front of the box. So I'm going to bring back some of the pretty design that was there. Just remember with this paint, the fusion paint, I don't have to seal it. So it's basically you're just going to distress it and wipe it down and then you'll be done. Now that I have all the sanding done, I give it a good wipe down. The only thing left to do is add a pillow. Years ago, I used to make pet pillows. I sold quite a few of them. But now you could just buy them at five below. I found a perfect size for this cat bed and I picked out a neutral color and it fit perfectly. You just put it in and that's it. Look how cute this looks. So pretty. Stallone's gonna really enjoy it. Well guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed how I upcycled this gift box. I think I'm going to recreate a few more, but a little bit larger with some wood I have laying around. I think this will be a great craft show seller. Until then, if you can hit that like button, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, my friends, ciao.